Hey guys, today I'm going to be making a video for a full product review of the Walkit wallet made by NextID. Um, this is a smart wallet. I'm going to be doing an unboxing, walk you through the setup, and then give you my overall impressions of the pros and the cons that I've experienced. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so here's going to be the box for the Walkit. Um, you have some information on the back. There we go. And um, when you open it up, you have the device front and center. Let's go ahead and put that there for a minute. And then it has a um, charging cable that charges through a 3.5 millimeter port. And then you have the scanner for your credit cards um, to import them into the device. So um, looking at the device, I have uh, used this device, but I've gone ahead and reset it um, back to factory um, restore so that we could walk through it together. And um, it has a small pouch on the back to put your ID uh, in case a store needs a verification of your credit card. And then there's the actual Walkit card, which is customized to your name. And here's the back. This is where the information is encoded onto the mag strip and has an area for your signature, of course. So we'll go ahead and put that back. Um, the credit card scanner inserts into the device. However, they don't do a great job of explaining this. You have to physically separate these two parts. And after you do such, there is a small port that this then fits into and you can scan your cards. That's also how you charge. Um, this device however has about a one year battery life so you won't need to be using this very often. Alright, um, we'll go ahead and turn the device on by pushing this button right in the middle. Uh, we'll accept the terms and let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a pin, I'll put a series of ones. As you notice, every time I press the screen, this, the device doesn't always register, and you have to really press hard um, to get it to accept your touch sometimes. Alright, so we'll go ahead and plug in the scanner into the device and I have my card here and we'll just go ahead and um, let's see, swipe it across so it's recognized my name on my card that is registered to the name that the um, device custom card is set to so these have to match up and then it asks us if you'd like to add the card because that was just for registration, so uh, yes, we'll go ahead and add this card. See, I'm touching the screen several times just to make one correction on there. And then um, this is a debit card. And then I'll enter the security code. And then you have an option of naming it. We'll keep it for Visa for now, that's fine. Saves the card. And then to verify, we do it with the second card. Um, I'm not going to wait the five minutes, so we'll just go ahead and swipe in a second card. and pretty simple we'll just take this and swipe it across please swipe again alright alright so that worked the scanner actually works pretty well um, I've rarely had to ever scan anything more than once and never more than twice and so now you see the interface um, in the top left here there's a menu. You can do 
different things. You can put in passwords, just plain text, um, notes. Also has an area for loyalty. You can actually put in barcodes. So if we were to put in add card here, so you can add a barcode. And And then you have the choice of a standard barcode or a QR code, at which point you just put in the information and it, um, it'll it save it right in there for you. Now, once you have put your cards in, I'll go ahead and remove the scanner, and I'll take the back and we'll put it back together. And I'll take the walk it card, put it in. And we'll go ahead and program the Wocket card for. So it's programming and it's ready. So theoretically, now this is the same as the card that we swiped in initially, and it can be used. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and give you my overall impressions, the things I like, and the things I don't like. Um, on the positive sides, I do like that it's one device that holds all your cards, what it's supposed to do. Um, it makes it a lot easier than carrying a wallet. Also, it can carry up to 10,000 cards, and it has a battery life of a year. So this isn't something you have to worry about maybe forgetting to charge the night before and the next day you don't have any access to your cards. That's a great feature of this. Um, also, the fact that it doesn't just do cards, it does any loyalty cards, it does um, barcodes, so it could be a coupon, it could be one of those um, store tags, you know, for like the grocery store. Um, and the other thing is that it's a standalone device, so it doesn't require a smartphone to work. I mean, you take it out of the box, you scan your credit card in, and it's good. Um, that's great for security as well as for usability. Anyone can buy one of these and it'll work, no problem. Um, on the bad side, there are some things that I dislike about this device. One of the things I mentioned was that the touchscreen is clunky and is not as responsive as what you would want from a device like this. Um, and because of that, it causes the device to t take a long time to use. So for example, if you were to just take this out, uh, hit the home button to turn it on from the sleep, uh, you have to input your PIN number. That by itself takes a while. and it's not always registering every press. So you may mess up your pin or see there you go, like I it just messed up for me and it's not registering. So when you're at the register and you're trying to put in your pin number and then you have to hit the card to add it and have it program the walk it card it takes about two, three seconds, and then you swipe it, that whole process takes a while if you're not um, doing it ahead of time. So that is one thing I don't like. Um, it takes a while to use it, and the touchscreen is just not how as best as it could be, basically. I'm sure that has a lot to do with uh, cost and battery life and things like that, but it really is uh, a big downside, especially when it's the only way to interface with the device. Um, another thing that I'm not too crazy about, I don't usually carry cash, but... Um, if this is going to be your wallet, it's nice to have the option to carry cash. And this pocket that exists on the device, uh, it's meant to carry your ID. And um, if you have your ID in there and some cash, if you take your ID out, there's a chance your cash could fall out. It's not really the most secure place. Um, it, and also the other reason why cash is important is because this device doesn't always work. Um, I've not had any luck actually with registering my credit cards. Well, they do register, but I haven't been able to swipe them and work. My debit cards work fine. I'm not sure what the reason for that is, and um, I've tried swiping them in a couple times. So in those events, it's nice to have cash as a backup in case your device isn't working. Um, maybe you dropped it or something happened and it's not working. You know, you need cash. If, if you want and they say that there's an accessory that you can buy but those aren't even out yet so uh, for right now that's definitely a downside for me another thing um, this device has not yet received a software update but there is an option to check for a software update on the device and since it's a standalone device and has no connection to Wi-Fi it depends on a smartphone to work 
for that particular thing being a software update. Um, and that's fine, that's not a problem. I could connect it to my smartphone. But the problem is that the apps don't yet exist on either of the app stores being uh, iOS or the Google Play Store. So that's a pretty big issue in my eyes if the app for your product isn't even released with your product. Um, and another thing that kind of isn't released with the product is a feature they advertise called Voice Match, which instead of having to put in that PIN number, you can just speak into the device and it'll recognize your voice and unlock. Well, it has a microphone for that to happen, but the feature's not enabled. And it's advertised as being capable of doing such. So that was really disappointing. Um, and I think it'd be a great feature to have because putting in the PIN number does get irritating after a while. And they need to advertise the feature as coming soon. Um, I did not appreciate that at all. Um, and the other thing is that currently this card has no chip. And as many of you probably know, we're undergoing the EMB transition. And um, I've talked to people at Wacket and they said that when the um, when their engineers come up with a card with a chip, you could probably just replace the card and you wouldn't have to buy a whole new device. But um, all my cards currently have a chip and I kind of was bummed that this one didn't um, just because it's going to be how all our cards are going to have to be very soon. So in that respect, um, that's something that could probably be taken care of in the future, but it is a slight drawback. So overall, I think the device has some potential in the future. Um, I don't think I'm actually going to be holding on to this device, and I think I will be sending it back. I talked to uh, Wacket's customer service, and they said that you can just mail it back to them, and they will issue the refund. So they do have great customer service, and they always have replied to me in one day. Um, so as far as the company goes, I do really enjoy that. However, um, I just wish the device had a better screen. I wish it was a little more reliable. Um, oh, and the last thing that I didn't mention actually is that this device did not work in an ATM. So I went to Chase, had it programmed to my card, put it in, did not work, and then I used my debit card immediately after and it worked. So if that's something that would concern you, that could be a downside as well. Um, Hopefully in the future they'll issue the software updates to get the voice ID and some other features in there. They'll have some accessories for cash and other things. And um, those will definitely improve the quality of the device. But for now, I would not recommend this to, uh, to somebody. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing what the company comes up with and all the new features. Uh, with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Um, I'll be back soon with another video. Bye-bye.